I am Nicole Ortswitch and welcome to or back to my channel. I'm trying to get readings back in again. And these readings are for witches for Halloween. So from now to Halloween, you could be working on something. On uh, Halloween, you may have something big to work on. So I am working with Seasons of the Witch. This is like the Halloween deck. That was the first deck. I think it came out at the beginning of the year. And then, or it may have been, or it may have come out around Halloween last year. Yeah, I think it did. So, their new deck just came out. We're trying to get all the seasons in. But anyway, so that's the deck I'm working with. And hello, Virgo. The other signs I have done are not loading. So I'm just going to go ahead and do them all anyway and not let anything get in my way because I have been working on this since last night and I'm only about almost halfway through, I think. Anyway, this message, oh, sorry, <laughs> I need a message for Virgo is what I meant to say. Messages for Virgo. Sweet Virgo. My mother is a Virgo. Her birthday is September 1st. And that's her sun sign. And my sun sign is total opposite. And by the way, if you can have Virgo anywhere in your chart, sun, moon, rising, North Node, or Venus, or you could be a cross watcher. Females are the worst for that, aren't we? But I will say it's not the brightest thing to do because I didn't know that you're allowing, it's almost like a mirror, you're allowing them to tap into your energy as well. I don't know how true that is, but I've heard that. The last one I wasn't as focused because everything going on, so with the videos. I was upset about the videos and it took a while for the reading to come through so I'm trying not to do that this time but then it ended up being a beautiful reading all right Virgo 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 plus it's cold this card's large and my hands just don't like it. These cards tend to stick. So sometimes I find, even though I've shuffled them a million times now, sometimes I find that like it'll be consecutive, like eight, nine, ten, the numbers of the cards. This is an oracle deck, so oh, we got something. Candle magic nine. So I'm going to read to you. The name of the card, the number, what it breaks down to, because those do have a lot of meaning. And then I'm going to tell you the little message. So speak your breath into its vel velvet, recite along its spine, all that you desire, all that which will unravel. And then after I've pulled all the cards, I will read a little message in the book because... The cards are not clear, trust me. <laughs> you may think it is, and sometimes it's what it's on there, and sometimes it's what's in the book instead. So it just depends on the message. Another message for Virgo. I'm also an intuitive reader, so I will get messages, and I know that this is kind of slow, but if you don't mind hitting the subscribe button, the thumbs up button, and then also the notification bell, because I have so many different playlists, and you will know what it's about, so you don't have to watch it if it's not something you're interested in. But because these readings are for witches and it is a witchcraft channel, you may see a lot that you want to see or look at. We have spells, we have everything. I have already had 160 videos a few days ago. 
and it's not even been a year yet. And I really don't have that many readings before you say, well, every time you do readings, that's 12. No. And it never gets that far because of King. Like, I just get so frustrated with the loading issue. So. Any message to Virgo, please? Well, I'm not getting anything else. I know that can't be it because it's something you need to work on. Until then, and there's something special that night. I did have a reading that only had two or three cards. I still wasn't that short. <laughs> Jeez, I, um, I'm going to have new equipment soon, and that will help me out a lot. Okay, I'm not getting any more messages for you. So, we're going to make this one short and sweet, I guess. Okay. There we go. One more time. Okay, so it is a nine. I'm at the area. Okay, so we have keywords, intentions, and prayer. There are a few spells that are complete without a candle or two or ten. <laughs> Candles make the setting of a spell more magical and also play an essential role in a spell. Candles carry our intentions out into the universe. They pull in our words and prayers along their spines and send them out through the tips of their flames. Aside from carrying out intentions, candles call in good spirits and nature's helpers who are drawn to the light of the flame. These spirits protect us as well as hold our intentions, makes our spells all the more magical, effective, and special. When you're holding candle magic, know that your intentions and prayers have been received by the powers that be. They know you are in need of support and are working hard behind the scenes to bring your prayers to life. You do not need to worry as your intentions will manifest when the time is right. So whatever it is you're working on manifesting, uh, just give it some time. Okay, and then it'll give candle color correspondences and I don't ever do those. But because this video is already going to be so short, I'll go ahead and tell you. White, higher self, the goddess, peace, purity. Cleanliness, angels, mental powers, all purpose. It can be used in place of any other color. If you don't have any other color candles, just use white. Black, binding, protection, banishment, repealing. Repealing or repelling? Should be repelling. Yeah, repelling negative energy. It says repealing. Grounding, safety, and crossing and scrying. Excuse me. And scrying is. Like, there's different types. There, there's using the rods and also pendulum. Okay, red, grounding. Oh, and by the way, yes, I always use a black candle when I use a pendulum. So, red, grounding, stability, strength, danger, confidence, fire, element, act. <laughs> Sorry, um, I didn't mention that, but there are some errors in this book. Fire element, action, assertiveness, sexual energy, vitality, motivation, and power. Orange, confidence, justice, self-expression, fun, celebration, creativity, happiness, success, harvest, opportunity, legal matters, and ambition. Yellow, energy, happiness, inspiration, sun magic, positive thinking, friendship, prosperity, self-esteem, beauty, and intellect. Green, money, health, nurturing, growth, love, compassion, luck, plant magic. Counters greed, like it counteracts greed and jealousy, or maybe like some people do do spells on people because they're jealous. Career, rebirth, harmony, partnership, new beginnings. Blue, tranquility, water, element, peace, truth, loyalty, weight loss, harmony, organization, fidelity, forgiveness, expression, communication, 
air element i have um you gotta look at the different playlists but i do have candle magic and like um course uh, magical correspondences i've even got a weight loss um spell purple or indigo spirituality meditation divination contacting spirits um divinity magical realm intuition dignity messages knowledge air element okay silver feminine energy awareness dreams victory moon magic imagination psychic awareness and next is gold silver and gold candles are typically more masculine energy prosperity sun energy good luck positive attitude attraction manifestation luxury and power you probably need a gold candle but I will say, like, just, you could probably just light them because you've already put it out there. Just give it some time. Pink, love, self-improvement, partnership, fem, feminine, feminine energy, <laughs> romance, emotional healing. And it's also self-love, but it doesn't say that. Brown, earth magic, grounding, stability, earth element, animal magic, endurance, security, decision-making, material goods. Okay, that's all I've got for you guys. I'm so sorry. That's like the shortest reading ever. I mean, not to time them out, but like one card. So until next time, stay witchy. <laughs>